Tired of crunching all those numbers, but math does not have to be stressful. Michael King has a case in point. Hi, Michael. Yeah, Megan, most mathematicians kind of toil in obscurity with their pencils and protractors. But we met a Ballard artist slash mathematician who is world renowned using a protractor and a paintbrush. I'm always surprised and, and extraordinarily grateful when someone is interested in it. Inside an old Ballard biscuit factory, Michael Schulteis lets us into his world. For the first time ever, he's allowing someone to record the process, to see the first of many layers. Inscribing a triangle into it. He's not merely giving us a demonstration. When this painting is finished, um, our conversation, the work that I just explained, that's part of the painting. It could one day hang in a lofty place like the U.S. Embassy in Greece or the National Academy of Sciences in D.C., as some of his others do. At this gallery in Seattle, they're getting ready to show his latest efforts. His mathematical meanderings sell for thousands. This piece is priced at 25 grand. But for Michael, it's not about that. It is what happens between here and here. That's all that I try to focus on. And there is a lot going on between there and there. Looking at the relationship of the chords and the arcs in this dodecagon. Listen to him talk. The interstices, the spaces in between, uh, develop a whole new geometry. And you might get lost. It's seen through like this panel data set of all of these layers of thought. That's why he invites us to get lost in his lines and colors and shapes. I think that the reason to learn math and to fall in love with it, or geometry or trigonometry or calculus, is not to score well on your SAT, uh, but because it explains your world. And though his subject, math, is exact and perfect, his art is not. It's wonderful. Well, not so wonderful. Well, that's all part of it. He often uses a rag. And rub out the uh, first layers. There's a degree of imprecision whenever math leaves the mind and enters the surface. Like his art, his life has many layers. He grew up on a cattle ranch in eastern Washington before a distinguished career as a Microsoft mathematician and engineer. Painting was just an escape until he heard an artist on the radio. Uh, this artist said, you have to paint what you know. It dawned on me, uh, this is what I know. He remembered in college seeing the beauty of a freshly erased chalkboard. That's what his early work resembles. I've never had an art class, so I, I can just charge ahead without um, fear of, of uh, doing it wrong. Michael knows not many will have any idea there's high-minded math behind each of his works. You know, kids will see a butterfly or a bug or a worm. We see a coffee cup. And there's a coffee cup. And we could write an equation for if it's half full or half empty. But bringing math to the masses is kind of the point. The gallery director called me and asked if someone could t touch one of my paintings. Uh, and she said, uh, this woman is blind. And she wants to feel how the math looks. It does make you look at math a different way. Thank you very much, Michael. Now you can also look at going out.